Hello and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you and give you all the tips I know to make your Wi-Fi internet speed faster using a recent Xiaomi or Redmi router such as those ones shown on the website xiaomi-me.com. Using these tips myself I was able to speed up my Wi-Fi internet speed by more than 50%. To demonstrate my claims and show you all the tips I first made sure to reset my router and I also made a speed test before and after I applied the new settings. As you can see with my initial speed test, I get around 300 megabytes per second for download speed and 330 megabytes per second for upload speed. To get started, your router must have been set up first so that it is working and you can access the administration interface. Obviously, to get access to it, you also need a smartphone, laptop or desktop that is connected through Wi-Fi or Ethernet to the router. Once you're ready, you can just open up your browser Firefox, Chrome, Safari, whatever, and type 192.168.31.1 to access the Xiaomi or Redmi administration interface. Then you just need to type your administration password to get in. Quick reminder that this is probably the same password as your Wi-Fi password if you first set up your router thanks to my review videos. Also, if you forgot this password, there's no way to recover it besides resetting your router. So now that we are on the interface, we're going to head to the second page by clicking this button on top. And we can start editing our Wi-Fi settings. To begin with, we have the first option, that is here to have only one SSID for the 2.4 and 5 GHz bands. We're going to uncheck it as we want two SSIDs for the 2.4 and the other for the 5 GHz band, because as tested, this option does not allow you to get the full Wi-Fi internet speed that your router can deliver. Ok, so now we're going to configure the 2.4 GHz band first. For this we're going to select channel number 13, the biggest channel number, as it is one of the least occupied channel and it is also the fastest channel available for this band. And we're going to select 40 MHz for the channel width, so that we have better 2.4 GHz signal and speed. Then we just have to click on the blue buttons to validate the changes. Now we're going to do the same for the 5 GHz band, but this time we're going to select channel number 161 as this is the biggest channel number that can use the 80 or 160 MHz channel width and so we're going to select 80 MHz width or 160 MHz width if you have the option as it is going to improve the signal and speed as well. If you get some troubles connecting your devices to the 5 GHz band, that might be because those devices do not support channel 161, so you may need to fall back to a lower channel number like 44 or 48. Next, we're going to make sure to select multi-user MIMO, as this feature improves simultaneous connections to the router. Then we're going to click on the purple icon on top to access more settings. On this page, we're first going to set our router to use the fastest secure DNS in the world, that is Cloudflare. So to do this, we're going to select the second option to manually set our DNS. And then we're going to type 1.0.0.1 and validate our changes with the blue button. Then we're going to go all the way down on this page and we're going to check the IPv6 option to enable IPv6 for our network. This is not going to improve your speed by much, but it's still going to improve communication between your router and devices. Just as before, we have to select the second option to manually set our IPv6 DNS, and we're going to use the Cloudflare DNS again, but this time with this address. Once it's done, a pop-up will appear to tell you IPv6 is correctly set up. Finally, we can reboot the router by clicking on the router name on top, selecting the fourth option and clicking the blue buttons. We are now ready to test the speed improvements. So we now have two Wi-Fi SSIDs, a 5G one and a normal one for the 2.4 GHz band. So you can connect to the 5G one for faster speed and to the normal one if the 5G signal is not strong enough. We can now test the speed again to check the new results. As you can see, we now average 460 megabytes per second for the download speed and 530 megabytes per second for the upload speed. So those are massive improvements. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful to you. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.